Hi, this is Presh Talwalkar. Ancient mythologies had interesting examples of genetic hereditaries. In Roman mythology, for example, Hercules was born of the god Zeus and the mortal Alcmene. This made Hercules a demigod. He was one half god and one half human. In another mythology, Gilgamesh is described as being two thirds god and one third human. This, these are interesting fractions and it raises a mathematical question. If each individual is the offspring of exactly two parents, is it even mathematically possible to be two thirds god and one third human? Give this problem a try and when you're ready keep watching the video for the solution. We'll imagine a population where individuals can be 100% god or 0% god, which means they're human. What will happen if individuals from this population interbreed? The next generation will have people who can be 100% god if both of the parents are god, 50% god if you have one god and one non-god or one human, and 0% god if two humans. It'll be convenient to write these percentages as fractions, so we'll write the next generation can have can be one god for 100%, one half god, or zero god. Now what will happen if individuals from this population have children? Well, we can find the fractions of the next generation. This can be one if you have two parents that are god, three-fourths, one-half, one-fourth, or zero. Now you could find these fractions because if parents have fractions a and b of god, then the child will be a plus b over 2 fraction of a god. Now what you can see from this pattern is that the child will always have whatever the parent's fractions were, the sum of that, divided by 2. And so that's the key insight, is that the child will always have a fraction of god that will be a denominator that will have 2 to the power of something. These are known as the dyadic rationals. So you can never have a fraction that's equal to one third. In fact, the only way that you could get one third would be to have an infinite series that starts with one fourth and has a common ratio of one fourth. So you could end up being one third of a god or one third of a human if you had an infinite family tree. But as it is, you can never be one third of a god in a finite family tree. So it's actually impossible. Did you figure it out? Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel. I make videos on math and game theory. You can catch me on my blog, Mind Your Decisions, which you can follow on Facebook, Google Plus, and Patreon. You can catch me on social media at Presh Talwalker. And if you like this video, please check out my books. There are links in the video description.